Well, um, what else was there? I mean, I, I could talk about, speaking of Boca Chica, you know, we could talk about some good news that happened this week in Boca yeah, Chica. Yeah, let's do that. Let's, let's do, do that. that. So, that is some good news. Yeah, this is, this is great you, you news. You earned the right to, to do that last night <laughs> in the five-hour live stream. Thank you. Uh, so this all kind of started, we knew this was coming last week on the, on the third, what was that, Saturday or Sunday or something? I don't know. Time doesn't exist. Um, Elon <laughs> tweeted a picture uh, looking, again, this is looking straight up into the, uh, the, be- the belly of Starship, serial, serial <laughs> number belly. four. Looking into the belly. And what we're seeing is a single Raptor engine. Now, one of the things you need to remember and you need to note is that the Raptor engine is offset. It's off center. Mm. It's not directly mounted in the center because there's meant to be three all equidistant from the center um, in, in the future. But this one, they're only going to test one for now. So that's going to be, that will be interesting. It will fly a little bit wonky because they are going to eventually launch this uh, or fly this 150 meters. So it will go somewhere <laughs> and <laughs> it'll because it's a little bit offset it's not offset that much but it does mean it will lift off and, and power slide a little bit which is fine because they'll probably want to translate sideways anyway but then if they were want, wanting to do just like totally straight flight what would have to happen is the the fuselage would you know the the gimbal would would crank a little bit and it would have to fly at a tiny bit of an angle which would be pretty entertaining to see too uh so what? So we saw this. We knew that okay, they're going for one engine. They're getting ready to do a you know a static fire on one engine, and the kind of the first attempt at that that we knew of for some kind of real test, not just a, a filling test. This was um, on the fifth, but it was kind of actually like the fourth. So I'll say uh, I'll say Monday night they did um, just a. Uh, a kind of a fuel pre-burner test or a pre-burner test of this vehicle, which is where they spin up the pumps. And this was, yeah, this was what a five, four hour, four, 18, <laughs> four hours and 18 minute live stream to watch the least exciting thing ever in <laughs> space flight. Basically. Um, I don't know why we do this to ourselves, but I sent my camera down to my friends, Rachel and Jean, um, uh, as, uh, at, at space Padre Isle on Twitter. They're, they're the surfing instructors that I, Learn to surf with Ben. Remember, I was telling you about them. Um, do you remember that? Maybe not. Okay, he's giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> but uh, so they uh, they took one of my cameras and then I was able to pipe the feed in and rebroadcast it. Then so I could still explain what's going on. And almost like I was there. But I think my favorite thing about these streams is they're out in the um, they're taking their boat and putting it like in this lagoon in the like north of the vehicle, where which is an angle that we've never really seen before. And what I like they're is on you a hear, boat here. What was that? They're on a boat here. Uh, th- they're on a really like a sandbar. So the oh, camera okay. is on a, on a, on the sandbar. I was about to say like how <laughs> they keep that camera steady on yeah. a boat, especially on that kind of long lens. Yeah. Sorry, no, no, no. Uh, but so what I love is like the audio. I don't know if you listen long enough where it's just like crickets and like wildlife yeah. and little splashes of the ocean, little sea breeze. It's genuinely like pretty, it's like rocket ASMR. <laughs> and you're waiting just like, yeah. Like, is this going to happen? Yeah. So I think we're, we're, we're going to see. Yeah. And then I always, you know, interrupt it with noises and stuff, but I don't even know if we saw at this point, this point. So whatever, there's a little, I tried to cue it up. I don't know. Uh, then the <laughs> next night I didn't have a, a feed ready, but uh, NASA space flight had theirs going that night, which was awesome because then they were able to capture um, the first time this vehicle actually breathed life with a Raptor engine. So it did a hold down static fire and uh, lit its Raptor engine and it's still standing, which is great news because after <laughs> so many, st- you know, Starship mm-hmm. prototypes that we've seen fail, it's good to finally have uh, some progress going in the right direction here. So, um, and then last night they did it again. They did an- another static fire last night. Um, so three nights in a row of pretty extreme testing and there's that one. Ta-da. How awesome is that? So we're finally seeing some, some good progress moving forward with Starship. That's uh, good news looking forward that maybe we, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe things will not be blowing up now. They kind of figured it out. It looks like. I hope so. I yeah. think last time it was, um, falling down even just standing up like it couldn't even hold its own weight (laughs) 
that did happen when they <laughs> they had a testing failure procedure where uh, the upper tank filled and the and the bottom tank lost pressure or it accidentally wasn't filling it quick enough and so then yeah the top tank had hundreds of tons of, of liquid fuel and or actually liquid nitrogen but yeah so I think they're they're getting beyond that I think they're getting familiar with the systems getting familiar with the architecture getting familiar with the hardware and it looks like they're getting pretty good at it because two static fires in you know one night after another and we find out on Twitter then later the reason they did two in a row, the one that they did last night, the last one, uh, they used only the small header tanks. You know, there's those little mini tanks inside the big tanks. Uh, they they did the static fire using just those tanks. So that's awesome. So uh, at least in the fuel tank. So that's good news because that's something that will need to be tested and, and understood because they will use those for the landing <clears throat> procedure. Those will be separately pressurized tanks uh, that will be used for the landing sequence. So... Yeah. The belly flop. Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.